ಇವತ್ತು ನಾನು ಜಮೀರ್ ಅಹಮದಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸರ್ಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯನವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೇಳೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇಚ್ಛೆ ಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಏನು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ನೀವು ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊರಟಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಟುಡೇ ಅ ಡೆಲಿಗೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬಿಜಾಪುರ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಮೆಟ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಓವರ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ನಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ concerning their uh, properties their uh, farm lands which now the wakf is claiming to be its own the farmers have been cultivating this land over 4 to 5 generations starting from 1920s 1930s whether it is in the pahani whether it is in the mutation register and whether it is in all revenue records the names of the farmers and their families are mentioned however over the last uh, few months the wakf board in karnataka has started claiming all of these lands to be their own in just one village in vijapura taluk in vijapura district in uh, kolhara taluk about 1500 acres has been claimed by the wakf board to be its own and in all of vijayapura district the wakf board today is claiming more than 15000 acres as its own and uh, the congress minister in karnataka mr zameer ahmed khan recently went on a tour of many districts in karnataka and he has instructed the deputy commissioners and the revenue authorities in these districts to register these claims of the wakf board in the name on all of these lands in the name of the wakf board within 15 days and thereafter without giving any notices without giving giving any opportunity to be heard to any of the farmers thousands of acres of lands have now been registered in the name of the wakf board and this is happening all across karnataka tejasvi surya is a lawyer he should not be speaking like this there is an act which governs how the property becomes a wakf property there is a process provided under the wakf act it's a legal process no such thing has happened the way he is projecting every time there is some kind of electoral uh, or elections they come up with this kind of divisive statements what is his intention his intention is to say that the government is appeasing the minorities the muslims thereby creating a division for the forthcoming by elections it's the sole purpose nothing will be backed by documents nothing will be backed by any uh, uh, legality there is absolutely no sanctity to such statements the fact that is they speak like that is because of the elections everything is politics therefore as a lawyer he should be more responsible than to make such accusations unless it is backed by some documentary evidence he worked they will say work property connected to zameer ahmed and create a division in society this is the intention so these kind these things are totally false they started a propaganda that the money to of temples is being used for is it even possible is it even possible today we have led to a situation where our mujra minister is advertised in every temple that the money of this temple is going to this very temple they have created such a situation see this is the purpose people should not fall uh, prey to such uh, dirty politics